Commonwealth Chancellor and President of Syracuse University, Kent Severt. Good afternoon, and thank you for being here. It's been five days since we first became aware of the disgusting behavior videotaped by Beta Tau. It's been a wrenching five days for so many who care about our students and about Syracuse University. I've heard from hundreds of students and faculty and staff and alumni and parents and friends of the university from all over the world. They are disturbed and outraged by the hateful behavior reflected in the videos. To a person, they have told me that this behavior offends our values and does not reflect what we want Syracuse University or the world to become. They have asked for swift action to be taken. It has been and it will be. But to a person, everyone I know here, everyone who is orange, has also stepped up in the face of this hatred to help this university get better in countless ways. I am grateful and I am optimistic this will happen. The collective response to this incident has been inspiring. Our Orange community has quickly and forcefully condemned the behavior and all the bigotry and hatred it reflects. Our students, our faculty, our staff, our alumni, our parents have spoken up and have come together to support each other to reflect and to act on the next tangible steps to make sure this university lives up to its values. Our community is fully mobilized to work harder every day to be an inclusive place that treats every individual with civility and with respect. Clearly, there is a deep desire here to collectively figure out the concrete next steps on our path forward. Chief Maldonado is going to give you some updates on that, but I want to share one experience that captures why I remain proud of this university and why I am so very hopeful that it will get even better. Among other terrible things, that video released on Wednesday contained appalling statements and actions about Jews. Within a very short time of its release, our university's Muslim chaplain, Amir Durek, and our university chaplain for our historically black church, Pedro Castro, reached out to our university rabbi, Leah Fine, to help out with our many Jewish students who felt attacked. Amir and Pedro had plenty on their own plates with students in their own chaplaincies, but they made time for our hillel. They did so because they all know each other and work together every day. They have all worshiped together including at Shabbat services and Muslim prayer and Christian services in my home this year. They supported each other. That is the Syracuse University I know. That is the Syracuse University I love. And that is the Syracuse University we are all going to build now. Thank you.